Hey everyone, it's your girl Manavia. I hope you guys are doing good, doing great. Today, I am going to be doing microneedling myself. I find that my skin just needs like a little boost. Um, my skin has been like kind of dry in a way. I'm seeing like I'm getting like a kind of like fine lines, a few little papules on my skin, as well as hyperpigmentation. I have been like extremely tired uh, lately, especially like with my son and everything and like after giving birth i just feel like my skin just needs to be like rejuvenated well i decided that i'm going to be doing that and i want you guys to follow with me step by step with how i'm doing my skin care today so i'm super excited and i always do these treatments for my clients and i'm like you know what like it's time to replenish for me too okay i need a little replenishment and i do these treatments on myself often but i haven't actually videoed it so i'm like it is time to video this for you guys to see how i do my microneedling i'm super excited and uh let's get started so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel it helps so much it supports my channel it lets me know what you guys are thinking and you know it's just greatness from all around all right so obviously like i use my own products you guys this one is my foaming wash you know i'm just like excited to just go every step of the way it smells so delicious it is made with anise seeds okay so if you're not like familiar with what with, with that is it's black licorice I'm gonna be going in with a little bit of water just to start and the reason why like I'm cleansing my face so is that I can get my skin prepped and ready and I'm removing all the impurities that I've had from like the day so I'm just cleaning off everything I can even go over my eyes if I want but that's just more for like hydration let me just get it here and take as much time as you want just to like cleanse your face, do what you need to do. Okay. Just get under here. And what's so good about microneedling is because right now I'm breastfeeding and I, my son is actually one years old and he's still breastfeeding. Like he enjoys breastfeeding. Like it's like his thing, okay? <laughs> So I was like, okay, what can I do to treat myself without using anything that has like galvanic stuff, anything that, you know, I can't use per se because um, I can't use anything electric. I don't want to like do anything to my breast milk while he's breastfeeding. So I was like, the best treatment for me to showcase to you guys is the microneedling, right? So... I was like, it is perfect timing just to do that. And I find my skin, it hasn't gotten worse or anything like that, but it just needs like a replenishment. Like it's been a while. I use these sponges just to like clean off my face. Let me see how my face is. Is it really dirty? Okay. But you guys, I did moisturize my face this morning and oh, i washed it like i cleansed it like always and i also toned my skin and i put a moisturizer so now like i'm basically just removing what i put on this morning and pretty much starting over again just so i can do the microneedling so i'm gonna rinse it one more time with my sponges on my sponges again and i'm just gonna clean everything off these sponges feel so nice and soft. I'm gonna do my toner. All right, and I'm gonna just massage that in to my skin. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the Mandarin toner that I have. It smells delicious, you guys. It is for all skin types, and a lot of my products are for all skin types, by the way. So if you're looking for something for you, you can definitely purchase in the link below in my shop and also if you have questions on the products that you're not sure if it's for your skin type you can definitely message me anytime you can also message me on instagram 
if you have questions about that obviously so the instagram link is also going to be below if you have questions on that as well i'm going to be exfoliating my skin okay so i do have an exfoliant this one is the candle nut scrub do you guys see that i know there's a little glare so it's called the candle nut scrub this one i absolutely love this okay when i mean blackheads come out of this like out of your face it comes out so good so good okay and i always use a stick and you only need a little bit but you guys this one is not for people that have a lot of redness like rosacea and stuff like that it's not meant for that it's not meant for that type of sensitivity so just be aware if you're purchasing this one so i'm gonna just put this everywhere and it also acts like microdermabrasion okay so you're gonna feel like little grains inside of this exfoliant but they're very very small grains but it does the work okay. so you can also leave this on for a few minutes i'm also going to go a little bit higher towards my eyes because i found my eyes just need a bit of exfoliation as well around it but don't do it if we don't want to i'm just doing it for me i'm gonna put it on my lips too because right now it is actually winter season so my skin needs love okay it really does all right so i'm gonna get my nose all right and the corner here and the corner on this side oh, have a little bit on my finger uh, all right so i've had it on for about five to ten minutes now and i'm gonna just put a little bit of water first manipulate it and you see like when i go back i can still feel the little granules and it's just doing its job la, 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 la. i'm gonna remove it now going back in with my sponges for my lips too so I gotta get my lips I'm gonna clean my face like three times <laughs> all right I'm gonna do that one more time with my sponges and by the way when using the candle nut scrub avoid the eye area like I don't think you want to like go like on your eyelids with that per se I just did it like close to her because I felt like I needed a little bit of love under my eyes. I'm gonna go with my toner again. And I'm gonna just massage that in. Let's look. I feel like my skin is already looking like 10 times better. It's just. I want it to look like even 10 times better again. <laughs> now, we're gonna get into the microneedling. So I know a majority of people do numb their skin when they're doing microneedling, but I decided not to do it. So I'm not gonna numb my skin. I'm actually just gonna go right in. I'm gonna be using a serum of mine. I do have like three serum choices uh, that people can like choose in this line that I have. So this one. So this one, I'm going to be using the Herbal Collagen Serum. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the Herbal Collagen Serum. Okay, I'm going to be using this one on my skin while I do the microneedling. Open up my needle. Get my needle in there. Do, 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 do have like my plastic wrap and I'm also going to put my black tape. I'm going to tape on that. Okay. Got my tape. 
I'm also using a 36 needle, you guys. 36 needle. I decided to go with the 36 needle because I was like, I really want to go in quite deep into the epidermis layer and go really far into the dermis as much as I can. I'm going to put it at like one point. Let's see, 1.5. I'm going to put out 1.5 just to get started. If I want to go like a little bit further, like at 2.0, then I'll go there or something like that. But I'm going to start with that with my 36 needle. Did I see that? So there's 36 needles. I already turned on my machine. And you see like the needles just like poked out and it's doing this job. But I'm going to turn it down to number six. And I'm gonna start with my cheek. I just rub the serum in. Okay, and if you guys see, like I have like a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks too, so we gonna get that. Okay, so we're gonna start. Thank you. 